It may look strange. I love the challenge. But these people are hopping, vaulting, and climbing for a reason. For a lot of people who do it, it's very much a way of life. It's called parkour, and believe it or not, it's pretty tough. Parkour is probably the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. So what is parkour? A training method to help you get from point A to point B as quickly as po and efficiently and safely as possible. These tracers, as they are called, are using their bodies and their environment to work up a sweat. Well, I've been taking classes from Wisconsin Parkour for about a year now. Jacob Warner is just 15 years old, and he says parkour is all about being yourself. I really like the freedom of expression through parkour. If you've ever watched just little children playing on a playground, they have just a freedom of motion. that They know they can go anywhere and do anything. So it's just child's play. All right, it's time for me to get laced up and give this a shot. Time for lesson number one, climbing this railing here. Wait, 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 this is beginners? Yeah. yeah. Woo, That's fine. this is tough. With your right arm and your left foot. There you go. Yeah. Being good at parkour comes through hard work and hard work only. Let's continue that hard work over here. This is like choreography. You need coordination, balance. It's not about being reckless. It's not about showing off. It's not about just standing around doing flips. That felt smooth. Parkour is all about safety and knowing your limits and understanding your own body. We always stress that your strength needs to be higher than your ability. Despite all the strange looks on the street, these tracers say parkour keeps them on their toes. And you push yourself just a little bit farther and you know that you broke through a barrier there and that now you can do something that you thought you never could.